Okay, good evening, everybody. Um, it, it, well, you'll know the date, whatever. It's a couple days away from Valentine's Day. Hope you all got your little Valentine, whatever, for your Valentine, ready to go. Um, especially your kids, think of them first. Not, think of your spouse first, but anyway. Okay, let's get focused here. Um, this past weekend, we had Charleston. That's the one thing I love so much about being a part of network marketing and when we treat it like a business and we invest in it and we get to these events you guys all know the power of these events you've all attended one or two or three or more um it uh, takes you to places in the world you would never otherwise see and charleston did not disappoint it was so beautiful and a lot of people got there a day ahead so that they could experience the culture and it's just so historic and the people there were so kind and so nice and so proud of their environment so that was a ton of fun so i'm going to get to some of the takeaways for you guys and a lot of promotions that are taking place um, and then we have a couple guests that are going to share some of their big takeaways from the weekend as well so darren jensen um, he always opens up the event and I love our CEO because he is, you can just tell he's so vigilant behind the scenes and doing so much work on our behalf. And he's involved in so many different um, organizations um, with other influencers, other companies. And he talked about this event that he was at and he was speaking to the guy that owns Airbnb. And um, Darren asked him, uh, the goal, the mission of Airbnb. And he said, our mission is to create millionaires. And then he asked Darren, he said, well, what's yours? And Darren just kind of chuckled. And um, the guy didn't know a ton about network marketing. So he didn't consider him. Then Darren asked him, would you consider us a competitor? And Darren, I don't think Darren even really answered that question, but upon finding out the mission of Airbnb and then what our mission is as well, we obviously are competitors because when all is said and done, we as network marketers and people that are looking for Uber drivers or Lyft drivers or people that have Airbnbs, we're all looking for the same people, right? It's in the same pot that we're looking for. We're looking for entrepreneurs, people that want to change their life. So the question came to Darren, what is it that's going to drive the long-term success for everything in Life Vantage to give us that advantage? And what it is was for us to have distributor influencers. Now, that's a principle. The principle is the influencer conundrum. If you can get 25 influencers, and I'm going to tell you what that's described as, 25 influencers in your business, 25, typically that will create a seven figure income. So when we're talking seven figures, we're talking a million dollars, 25. So getting 25 people in your business and making them influencers, helping to create them to have a million dollars of income annually, that's a big deal, right? Any, everybody agree? That's a big deal. Okay, so I want to share with you um, what he shared. Can you guys all see this okay? Thumbs up? Okay, perfect. <clears throat> Are you proud of me, Rich? I did that on my own. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> what is an influencer? Here are the characteristics of an influencer. They are independent. They are problem solvers. They are consistent. They create action and they have big vision. This is something I would take a picture of this. I would write this down. Question yourself, where are you at when you look at these things? Now, when I think of independent and problem solver, that means you are someone that is going to be proactive with your questions before you go to your upline. You're going to call customer service, maybe do a search in TMAC, maybe do a search in Vitality Living, um, whatever resources you have, you're going to be very res resourceful before you take that initiative to go to your upline because that's how we learn, right? Or maybe you go to onepersonbigdifference.net and on there you find whatever you may need, a certain video, a certain study. Consistency, we all know what that is. 
And we heard a lot about just getting back to the basics this weekend, sharing the ABC video, showing, you know, going through the plan, going through a presentation and doing third party and then the follow up over and over and over again. And the consistency with that, that is what is going to help you find those 25 influencers to make you a millionaire. Creating vision or creating action and big vision, no one can do action except you. You have to create that on your own. It has to come from you. So one really big thing with an influencer is they're hungry. Now, another big thing I heard that stuck with me all weekend was people talking about act as if you were new again. You were never more excited than in the beginning of when you signed up, right? And you never knew less than you did when you signed up. And that excitement and that passion and not knowing a lot and just reaching out to people that being resourceful and reaching out to people that know more than you did, did do, that created all of this action, all of this passion. It just made you hungry to want to go forward. So a lot of people talking about that, just act as if you're new again and find that hunger. Okay, so what they're doing is an influencer program. And it's as easy as one, two, three is what they were saying. So create a new pro three, two, enroll two new distributors, three, check out three new customers. This is per month, okay? So if you are currently a new distributor to pro two and you become a pro three by the end of June, if you bring on two new distributors per month and three new customers per month, then you get preferred customer seating in Kansas City. You get a special gift and some great swag, 10 year anniversary swag. And then you get attendance at the elite reception at the Hall of Fame for men's collegiate basketball. Those elite receptions are amazing. They are so much fun. And imagine the people you get to be around and just ask questions and dive into and network with. You guys, they're amazing. I love the elite receptions. And then you get recognition during the event as well. If you're a pro three and pro four, you will create two new pro threes by the end of June. Two new pro threes in your organization is how much in volume? That's $10,000 in volume, right? So that's another 10,000 that can help you in your width to also help you rank advance. That also, if you it starts this month in February, we have until the end of April for Ireland. So utilizing these strategies could do so much for your business. And I don't want any of you blocking it, okay? If you're blocking this in any way and going, oh my gosh, I haven't had a new distributor for months. Now I have to get two in a month. Like block it, box it out, let go of it. This, these are your goals. The company is giving you your goals for the next February, Jan, February, wow, February, March, April, May, June. For the next five months, they are giving you your goals to the next event. This is what you should work for, you guys. This is what you want to work for. Pro five and pro six, you're going to create one new pro three each month. You're going to get two new distributors per month and three new customers per month. Now, if you are not acting like an influencer and being consistent, having that hunger, knowing your why, having a big vision for what it's going to be like for you in Kansas City as a new rank, having a team with you because of all this work you've done, imagine all the people you can bring with you to Kansas City if you abide by this program, if you abide by what they're giving you through this influencer program. It's huge. Okay, so then it will be me in Kansas City. They have the entire crowd say that out loud all together. Um, Kansas City is our next um, event. It happens in July and it is the 10 year anniversary of Life Damage. This is going to be the biggest event we've ever witnessed. You do not want to miss this. If you are even considering right now or have a block or don't think that you can go, I want you to reach out to me or your upline profile, someone, because we just need to talk about why it is again that you wanted to invest in this business. Because I know most of us, it's for more income, it's for freedom, it's to help people. And it's these 
these events that help you create that success, that help you create that belief, that keep you going and allow you to create a legacy building business. Now it's $99, it's $20 more than it typically is because of what they'll have at the event. There is already major planning, major planning mode taking place with the Poe team, with other teams, with the Carrie Dickey team. There's so much planning taking place. So it is going to be so much fun. That $99, that ends um, February 16th. So you only have four more days to get that. So I would recommend if you have a team, make sure that you go into your back office and then go to um, event details over on the right hand side. And you're going to want to see who on your team has already registered for the event. Um, if there are people on there that you don't see that have registered, reach out to them, right? Hey, I know that you didn't make it to Charleston. I know that you were thinking about going. Let's talk about Kansas City. How can we make this happen for you? I know a lot of people already are thinking about caravans, putting Gloria Brinker even wants to possibly get a bus and take her team down to Kansas City. So you have plenty of time to figure this out. Um, four more days though to get that $99. Make sure that happens, you guys, because it jumps quite a bit after that. So, okay, so now I'm gonna turn it over to, we're gonna start with Laura. Um, Laura, I'll unmute you. And Laura, this was um, her real first event. And she is from Vail, Colorado. She's with Diana and Christy. And it was just so much fun. Laura went through a lot to get to this event, like a lot. <laughs> and she finally made it there. Her flight was canceled a little bit at first, but Laura, I want you to share with us um, just some of your big takeaways from the weekend being a first timer. All right. Well, first of all, I need to thank Tanya. Can you guys hear me okay? We can hear you, hon. Okay, great. Tanya, I wanted to thank you because um, she took me by the hand. She actually, um, I, I stayed with her in a room with Gloria and Tina, which was awesome. She introduced me to so many people. She helped me pick my um, breakout sessions and just really kind of, she was wonderful. So thank you so much for that. That was just incredible. Um, the event, it was powerful. It's just, it's, it's incredible to be at these events and to, to feel the energy and to get all the information and to meet all these people. Um, you know, we have an amazing company and amazing products and, and amazing people that make it all up. And so to kind of have it all together in one place really is inspiring. Um, as Tanya mentioned, a lot of it was uh, talking about back to basics and just, it was a repeated theme. You know, what is your why? Revisit your why, rewrite your why, <laughs> um, know your why, live your why, um, and your story. We did a lot. We had a great opportunity to kind of cross line meet with other people and as new distributors share our story and then kind of present it. And so that was powerful to hear others' stories. It was great to get that feedback. Um, and it was just it was awesome. And my, my word this year was go. <laughs> I decided to do this business and I picked the word go. And I felt that repeatedly throughout the event. Um, you know, keep it simple, start your action plan. You know, all these indications were like, like go, do it. <laughs> And so those were kind of my three big takeaways. It was super powerful, back to basics, keep it simple and go. I love it, Laura. And I loved watching you throughout the weekend. I mean, I can't wait to see your confidence grow. I mean, you're just such an amazing, beautiful, strong mother. And I can't wait to see you step into that and really realize how powerful you are. And I know, I know that it's going to happen. So I'm just, I'm so proud of you for all the sacrifices that you made, renting a car, sleeping in your car for a little bit to get there. I mean, <laughs> incredible, just so incredible. So thank you for sharing. That was awesome. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It was great. Yes. Love you. And I'll see you all in Kansas. Yes.
Woohoo! We'll see you there, babe. <laughs> okay. Um, Tina <laughs> on the treadmill, I'm going to unmute you. I hope you're in shape, girl, because you're going to need to talk. <laughs> so, Tina oh, is yeah, in I'm good. Minnesota. And Tina has seven kids or six? Six. And six. how many grandchildren? Four. Four grandchildren. This was her first event. Um, she was with Laura and Gloria and I, and I already heard Gloria's laugh. <laughs> <laughs> that was our weekend, the four of us in the room. So much laughing and not a lot of sleeping. So, okay, Tina. This was a big sacrifice for you as well to get there. This was your very first event. What were some of your biggest takeaways? Oh, everything was amazing. Everything was just unbelievable. I, uh, I see your chest. I can, <laughs> Gloria's laughing at me. Leave her alone, Gloria. Let her talk. Here, there we go. There we go. Um, <clears throat> my biggest takeaways, what I just, what really, reiterated over and over for me listening to everybody I mean everything Laura said but for me personally it was get over it and um, just go do it I mean I've been in it as long as glow and if I would have listened and had the confidence in myself that I really was lacking I, I could be right alongside of her as a pro five instead I'm still a pro one and I'm super pumped to be there and I will be a pro five soon because I'm going to the, I want to go to the summit. I'm going to the summit. Not I want to, I'm going to the summit. <laughs> so, but I just had to get over myself and um, just do it. Just do it. I told Gloria, I said, the first time I get asked to walk across that stage, I want you guys to play the song, This Girl is on Fire. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, that's my song. I think that's my word is fire. <laughs> so, and the other thing that I loved about Elite Academy is all of these pros, Pro 7, Pro 8, Pro 9, you know, and Mark and Taylor and everybody, and they sit there and they talk to you like you're already right where they are. They, they, nobody there acted as if they were better than the next person, and that was huge. It's truly family. It's truly um, goal-oriented, and it doesn't matter if you're on that person's team or not. They take you in and they'll, they'll do whatever it takes to help you get there. And I loved it, loved it. I never felt so connected to people I've never met in my whole life. So, Just yeah. makes you want to go back for more, right? Oh my gosh, gosh. Yeah, I didn't want to come home. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to get off the boat because it was over. <laughs> yeah, oh, thank you, Tina. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you've you you've got all it takes, girl. I just, same with you, like I just, I can't wait to watch what happens now that you, you've seen the big picture and you know how real this yeah. is. Oh, on the way home, my sister gets a hold of me asking all kinds of questions. And I just decided in my mind, it's like, instead of texting her through this, I just said, so when can we meet? And nice. she, says to, she says to me, she goes, you sound like a salesman. And I didn't even respond to it. I just said, so Friday, one o'clock. So nice. and you said you reached out to me. Yeah, and, and it was, yeah, it was funny. Glory reminded me because she says, you sound like a salesman. I said, you reached out to me. So Friday, one o'clock. So we're set Friday, one o'clock. Boom. That yeah. is <laughs> awesome. I love it. See, simplicity. So simple. Right. Less is more, right? I love it. Way to go, girl. Thanks for Thank sharing. You. Thank you. <laughs> so fun. You guys, yeah, the boat ride on Saturday night. I don't know if you guys saw the video I posted in Team Act. If you did not, go back and look. But Dr. Fifi cut a rug on that boat. It was the cutest thing I've ever seen. It was just an amazing environment, so much fun. And the event before that, we were dancing in pajamas. Um, and now this next event, we're talking about more. I mean, it just, it's just so much fun. It brings everyone together so beautifully okay so now i'm going to go over to don turner from texas so we're all over the country so don you've got a lot of big things going on in your business you've been consistent with going to events ever since you got in um share with me how this one felt for you or with us 
Um, it was awesome. I thought all of the breakout sessions were just incredible. Um, and I hope, are they going to make them available on the app or? Yes. Thanks okay. for saying that. Yeah. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, I mean, they've all been incredible. Um, I'm trying to go hard because each time I've gone to an event, I've rank advanced before the next event. So I'm hoping to actually jump past four and go to five for the next one is my goal. So, um, but no, it, it was awesome. And, um, you just have to go, you have to, and you have to go every time because you, you don't think that your belief gets any less and maybe it doesn't, but it definitely gets even greater when you're there around like-minded people and hearing all of the speakers talk and, and especially seeing the, everybody just seeing their, their efforts and where they are and, and knowing that you can get there too, if you put the work in. So um, on that, one of the things that they, they said, said really convicted, am I breaking? I'm breaking. A little bit, not bad. Okay. Okay. Um, um, it, was, it was, would you, would you hire yourself based on last month's work? work. Mm. So that's kind of, uh, that would be a no. <laughs> that next month is going to be a yes. <laughs> so, um, so that was good. I was going to go over a couple of things they said in the doctor's meeting. Yes, please. Um, okay, so one of the things about the prebiotic is it's really good to fight yeast infections. And most, almost everybody deals with yeast. And even if they don't know it, most of them are, but most people know they are. So that's a good selling point for the prebiotic is it really helps with, with yeast overgrowth. Um, and then also they talked about there, there's a couple of studies right now that are in the works. Of course, it's going to take a while, but they're on colon cancer and on prostate cancer with, with Nerf 2. So mm -hmm. that, that's pretty exciting. Um, and then another thing that they were talking about was somebody asked if you – contact or if you're in talking with a doctor's office and the doctor doesn't feel like it's ethical for him to be making a profit off of his patients by selling our products that they've had doctors that set up a fund and then put all the profits into that fund and then donate it to a charity at the end of the year and then that way their their patients still get the benefit because that's really the ultimate goal is the patient's health benefiting from the products. Um, but this way the doctor doesn't feel like there's a conflict of interest with, um, with his patients and his, his products. So that, I thought that was just a, a good idea. Um, and, and one of the doctors said, uh, and y'all may already know this, but, but a really good book. And especially if you have a professional who's not going to read GoPro or some of those is, uh, M MLM for dummies. <laughs> they said that's seriously they said that's a great book <laughs> so I'm going to go get it and give it to my doctor <laughs> um oh, makes sense though the yeah basic, right yeah yeah um and then another thing and I think maybe if you if you want to do this maybe find a doctor and get a little bit more clarity but there were some doctors saying that if there is a really really sick patient that sometimes it is better to start them just on nerf one because the nerf one is like the mitochondria or the police of the cells and so if they're not working correctly then they're not going to allow the nerf two to work as well as it should so they sit on really really sick patients sometimes it's better to start on the nerf one for a month or two before you start on the nerf two hmm. um i thought that was kind of interesting <clears throat> um and then another, another source of reaching out. So there was a plastic surgeon there that does hair transplants. And he's, I believe, I don't think they're just customers, but he's already gotten two other practitioners going with, with Protanum and the hair care stuff because um, when they do the transplants, they can't make the hair thick. And so they're doing that plasma rich protein injections, which are extremely painful um, and very expensive. And so this doctor showed them the pictures 
of the men and the, the results we've had. And they were like, um, okay, I'm going to do that. I'm not going to have my head injected with all those needles again. So I thought that was kind of a good stream of people to cold call and contact and, you know, just say, Hey, I've got an incredible product, need 30 minutes of your time. And I actually got a, um, a, a, a laminator. And so I'm just going to print off some colored pictures, some really good ones and just laminate them. And then I can take them in with me and it looks a little bit more professional. You're not pulling your phone out to show pictures, but um, anyway, I just thought that was kind of a good stream of maybe uh, where you can reach out to. Um, and I guess that's really about all that I had from the doctors. Um, it, uh, mine also was just really the, uh, well, one, a big one was always say yes and then figure out the details later. So when you ask for people to speak, okay, yes. So, <laughs> um, and then your vibe attracts your tribe. And then it should not be who's going to help you, but who's going to stop you. So. Mm, love that. Thanks, Don. That was great information. I appreciate it. Thanks for bringing up the stuff from the doctor's meeting too. Yeah. Really great info. Can't wait to see. Oh. Come back. Come back. Froze. I'm back. I froze. <laughs> I know I froze. Okay. Um, I just want to end with this. Um, one of my favorite parts of the entire Lead Academy, they had amazing speakers there this time. And Jimmy Yeary was there and he was recommended by Andy Andrews to Darren Jensen. And so um, Darren Jensen did an interview with Jimmy, Jimmy Yeary that you could go see on his page. <clears throat> Jimmy is a country music um, off, like he writes country music. And he had this way of bringing a convention center full of thousands of people together so intimately. So here's, here's the example he gave us. He talked about, if I feel, then you feel, and then we're connected. For example, rather than just saying, I love my dad, imagine me saying, I love the man that taught me how to play softball, right? I feel you feel. You hear one, but you really feel the other one. And he said, be authentically valuable. Sometimes, and then he said, sometimes I feel like I'm alone and that I'm the only person in the room. Has anyone, ever else, has anyone else ever felt that way? And so many people were like, yes. He said, I feel, you feel. And then he would start to ask these questions of people because he, was, he wrote a song there on the spot based on the answers given from people in the crowd. So for instance, he first said, has anyone ever been bullied? And Sean Poe said in that moment when he heard it, and some of you may have seen this on the live stream, but Sean said, thought to himself, no, I've not been bullied, but found himself nodding. And so Jimmy walked up to him and he's like, okay, he's like from a kid, from, you know, someone in high school, grade school. And Sean's like, no, a principal. And then Sean instantly got choked up. Like it brought back these emotions from him, this principal saying to his mother from across the desk, you're never going to amount to anything. And then he asked Tara Wilson's husband, have you ever felt like you let your children down? Do you have any regrets for the way that you treated them in a certain situation and maybe you shouldn't have? And he got emotional about answering that question. He asked um, Jeff, the guy that puts on all of our events, has life ever brought you down? And he's like, multiple times. He asked Darren Jensen, have you ever made mistakes? And Darren's like, yes, many. And he's like, what's gonna keep you from not making those mistakes? And Darren basically said, for some reason, I find myself continuing to make the same mistake over and over again. And I don't know why. It's like this slippery slope I keep going down. So we're hearing from elites at the top of our company. And then we're hearing from our corporate staff, like their flaws and not their flaws, but their feelings and things that they struggle with. And it just, 
everybody felt so connected in that way. And Jimmy said, he said, show me your back door and I'll show you mine. And the back door, like that's a place nobody really wants to go in, right? You go through the back door to kind of finagle your way through the kitchen to then finally get out to the dining room where everyone's sitting and having a great time. Like the back door is kind of where we keep all the stuff, where we keep all the junk. But when you share your story, when you're authentic with it, when you allow yourself to be vulnerable and you feel it, that other person feels it as well, and then you're connected. So it's the same when we're prospecting, you guys. You, do your, you will do your best work when you ask a million questions, when you really can find their pain and they know that you're actually listening to them. And then being able to say back to them, based on what you just told me, the story of this, the story of that, I know that I have something that I could help you with. You, you build a connection and you build trust. And I guarantee you're going to have a lot more success by doing that than you would just having a cold call with someone that you don't know. And those happen too. But even at that initial cold call, like just always make it your goal to find that connection, to let them know that you're really there for a purpose and you know, that you're there because you want to be there for them for the bigger purpose. Um, Rich was texting me too. And I just want to reiterate um, for some of you when it talks about building a pro three uh, with the influencer program that is per month and it's anywhere in your organization. It does not have to be someone you've brought in directly. So it could be a pro three, you know, on your ninth level. As, it, if you help create a pro three anywhere in your organization that works towards that influencer program. So I think that's phenomenal. But again, two and three, two new distributors a month, three new customers a month. Right. And we only do that by showing up and by putting in the work. One more thing I want to share with you, Sean Poe, I'll post this on team act, but he is going to be doing, um, we're going to have a ton of opportunity presentations that are going to be happening this month and going forward. So here's some dates you can jot down just for now, February 27th and February 28th for this month. Sean Poe will be presenting with Dr. Brett Brimhall on the 27th. Brett will do the product. Sean will do the business. And then the day after on the 28th, Dr. Sveta Silverman will do the products and Sean will do the business. Those will be really big opportunity presentations, especially if you've got someone, if you're working on chiropractors or they're just both so very, very knowledgeable. Brett is a great storyteller. He's got amazing stories that he shares as he goes through the products. Dr. Sveta is very, very scientific and knows the studies backwards and forwards. So I wanted to share that with you guys. Okay, um, thanks everybody for sharing tonight. I'm just so proud of you guys. And again, you have till the 16th. I want you all in Kansas City. So I'll stop the recording here.